Today I'm going to talk about the speed of sweep, i.e. slow and low. It's what I tend to adhere to when I'm metal detecting. That means keeping the coil flat to the ground, i.e. low, and moving it quite slow. That will allow better target separation than if you're running like this. If you go too fast, you're definitely going to miss targets. If you pass the coil too quickly over a target that has a monkey lump of iron or something next to it, you'll get a nulled signal, i.e. no signal at all. Unless you've allowed it to accept iron, of course, in which case you'll just get the iron signal. It'll go iron, and then nothing. You'll continue on your way, and you'll have missed your target. If you're moving it a little bit slower, you give the machine a bit more time to say iron, silver, or whatever it is that's next to the iron. You know, it might be iron, gold. Iron, drop that, gold, and you'll go like a low tone, high tone. Hey, up, there's a high tone, so you pass the you pass the detector back over it. Going too fast, you would miss it. So low and slow, just like this. By moving slow and slightly overlapping, when you're passing it backwards and forwards, you're slightly overlapping. You're covering every conceivable bit of ground. If you go too fast, You're moving in sort of a zigzag pattern and you're missing huge areas which the next person who comes along is going to cover and find the stuff you've missed. In areas such as parks where there's a lot of crap and a lot of trash in the ground, you'd go even slower. You'd slow it down to a real snail's pace. That would give the machine even more time to separate your junk targets from the targets that you want, which I suppose in a park would primarily be coins and jewellery. One last thing, when you're detecting in a field such as the one behind me, it's a very, very big field. You, you can't hope to cover all of it effectively in a day or possibly even a week. Um, best is to section off areas that look the most likely. But when you're walking from one likely area to another, instead of either taking your time and going slow and low all the way there and possibly wasting a bit of time on your next good site, I tend to just walk with the detector at the side of me, flat to the ground, like this. That means you can get to your next site quickly, but you also stand a pretty good chance of picking up coins or whatever may have been dropped from site to site. Uh, you'd be amazed how many things I pick up doing that.